Well, that's working. Hey guys, it's me, your boy, Jeremy. I'm back. Did I mention that? I'm back. So, yeah, I uh, haven't done a video in a while. No out and abouts. I mean, you know, the five people who watched that 43 minute, 20 mile walk video, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, I think I'm still recovering from that because I'm old. Did I mention that? High five? No? Anyone? I'm back. So yeah, uh, some interesting uh, turns of events, as it were. Uh, let me just wet the old whistle before I start. Ah, lovely. Um, so I have a job in Calgary. I work in Calgary now. I mean, not actively work, but I do have a job where when they want me to work, I work. So here's, here's, here's how I got this job. A little uh, recap. Now bear in mind, full disclosure, I recommend you put this on 1.25 speed because everyone knows I like to yak, I like to hear my own voice, and this is one of those situations where I just, I will fucking, oh boy, I will digress several times. But so, when I moved here, I parked my U-Haul in the back of this building. I know this story does not sound like it's going to end up with me be having a job. Trust me, it is. Backed my U-Haul into the, into the uh, back of this building, which was fun. I can still remember giving her the old, you know, mm, the old English on the wheel there, because boy, oh boy, she's a tight fit back there. Um, and as I'm moving in, there's this guy having a cigarette out the back there. And he's like, hey, you moving in? That's great. So as I'm moving in, I'm talking about me, my favorite subject, and how, you know, like eventually I'm going to get a job or whatever. And this guy's like, well, you know, I have this thing that I do, and, uh, you know, you could work for me. And while I'm moving in, and I'm like, I don't want a job right now. You know, <laughs> like, don't ask me. So 11 months goes by, because it's almost been a year since I've moved here. 11 months goes by, and of him, call, you know, basically twice a month saying, well, you know, I have this thing. And I'm like, yeah, I don't want a fucking job. Jeremy's semi-retired. I don't want a job. I finally was like, fuck it. I'm going to do this because, you know, I was going to look for a job anyway. So it's IT moving, which is like in an office building, people will have their desks set up, you know, their monitors, keyboard, sometimes a little computer, phone, and sometimes... They do like inter-office moves, or sometimes even moves from building to building. So what I do is I go in with a group of other people and uh, take down the shit on the desk, put it in a bin, and then it gets moved over to another location, and then I set it up again. That's 20 bucks an hour. Now, I've worked six days this month, and I've made two months' rent. A couple days were 12-hour days, 13-hour days even. And I mean, like, at first I was like, you know, when they were like, oh, do you want to work extra? You know, it might be a 12-hour day. I was sitting there thinking to myself, reflecting on the fact that I've had a year off. I'm thinking to myself, what, what would I be doing other than this? So I'd go home and I'd look at the computer, maybe play video games, you know, that kind of shit. Not really anything. So I'm like, I, I might as well work 12 hours. And really, like, having a year off to reflect and decompress really makes you understand that it's okay to work <laughs> sometimes, you know? And I just thought it was funny where I'd, like, work for 12 hours, get off at, like, 9.30 p.m., come home, you know, do nothing, for a couple of, for like an hour, go to sleep, wake up, 
Next morning, fuck off back to work, work for another 12 hours. This guy is doing this. And I'm old. But uh, I just figure, you know, fuck it. They're paying me. Now this weekend, today and yesterday, and I thought I was going to be working. But uh, we are so good at our job, apparently, that um, we finished everything last week. So I get this weekend off. Now, who cares? You know, if I get next weekend off, who cares? I've had a year off. And, you know, this, this job has also uh, caused me to reflect on how interesting m I've created this life of mine. Because I, five years ago when I was like, I'm going to do this, do that, do this, do that, and uh, the end result is I'm going to be in a position where this situation, right? I had this whole grandiose scheme where I'm going to work for five years and save money and leave town and take some time off and have an apartment and blah, blah, blah. And it's all come to pass. And, you know, even to the point where if you look back on my videos, it's like when I get a job in Calgary or wherever I said I was moving, I said I'm not going to fucking fill out a application form. I'm not going to show anyone my resume. I'm not going to do any of that. And that happened too. And it's weird being paid a wage where it's like, oh, yeah, no, we actually appreciate what you're doing. And uh, now you can afford to survive. It's really odd. And the thing is, is like, y uh, there have been stumbling blocks along the way. COVID. But uh, fucking, here I am. You know, I've turned my life from a uh, shitty to a success story, more or less. And I, like I said, I have a job. I never looked for a job. I never looked. This guy just kept asking me. I could have been doing this for a year already. But needless to say, so I have a job. And it's okay. You know, it's fine. The, there's plenty of time for me to go walking, to play games, to fucking make a video to clean up my house, to have a cup of coffee or whatever, I'll do whatever. You can do this too. This is the thing. It's This is not like, well, you know, it's a special situation. Nothing's a special situation. You gimmick your fucking life to get to a p situation where y you don't have to kill yourself. But anyway, blah, 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 fuck off. Job. This guy. Making money. I have more money in my bank account now than I did a month ago. Nuts. Two months rent. Who'd have thunk it? So a couple weeks ago I, I went out uh, to thrift stores. Didn't find much. I, I'll show you what I found. I, you know, I, and, and these were just like, I, they were two bucks each. I bought them just because they were two bucks each. This is one of those situations where, you know, yes, I'm just like, ah, fuck it. Whatever. Now I know, I, like, and even still, like, I'm thinking to myself, eh, you know, whatever. Like, should I have done it? Probably not. But, you know, the old habits die hard. You know what I'm saying? So I never played this. Played the first two. Never played this one. And uh, she's uh, the Batman Arkham Origins. And uh, she's, got, uh, she's got the old double disc action going on inside there. I don't know. One says disc one. One says disc two. Uh, not really sure why. Uh, not really sure why. So, fuck it. You know what I mean? That was two bucks. Fucking, I don't care. Right on the floor. And the other one's Dirt. Dirt 3. Racing game. I got a, I've got a, a, a fucking racing wheel for my, uh, X-Bone. And I think I can play this on the X-Bone. I wonder if the racing wheel will work on the X-Bone uh, and then play this on the X-Bone. I don't know. I've never hooked the racing wheel up. I assume it works. Uh, there's just nowhere for me to hook it up. You know, I need one of those kind of racing rig things, but seems kind of dumb. But yeah, it's She's Dirt 3. Apparently it's a really good game. She's boxed and complete, as you can see, uh, including 
the, uh, oh no, there's nothing in there. Not a thumbprint on the disc either, let me tell you. So, a couple weeks ago, I started playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. And that game looks great, really cool premise, the monsters in it are neat, the characters are fucking dull as dishwater. Uh, the missions are fucking boring. And I was playing it, playing it, playing it, and I was putting the fucking time in. And I, like, I literally, I was like, I'm getting through this fucking game. I'm not going to let this game defeat me. And, you know, the thing is, is when you become spoiled on AAA fucking titles, you come to one that's a few years old, that has a few fucking flaws to it, and you're like, I don't want to play this. So I bailed on her. I uh, got probably halfway through it, but I was just like, you know what? I don't really care about Aloy. I don't care what happened to the ro how the robots got there. Uh, yeah, I mean, even though I found out kind of how the robots got there during the storyline. But I was like, well, maybe I'll come back to this because I just ain't feeling it right now. So I pulled the pin, kind of took a decompression time from video games. But, decompression time for video games. And I sat there, so I've been looking at 3DS stuff. This is me digressing all over the place. Look at me going, topic, 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 topic. Um, I've been looking at 3DS games and stuff on the internet. And I'm like, oh, you know, I want to I wanna get this and I want to get that. And then I thought to myself, okay, I've got a spare 3DS. I've got a spare one. One that really doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter what happens to it. So I'm going to go online and install custom firmware onto it. And uh, see if I can crack the old bitch. So what I did was I installed custom firmware on this and cracked it and then I installed game files on it which <coughs> I found on the internet stole and uh, I was like okay well and you know because my concern was I was too stupid to crack the thing and I was gonna brick it and then I realized it was really easy to do and bricking it is fucking, like, nigh on impossible unless you're fucking dumb as a post. So, I... This works. This has a whole bunch of games on it that I found still off the internet. And, um... I was like, okay, that's good. Now, this is a three, three, new 3DS, not the XL. And I'm like, you know, as I'm playing this, I'm playing Picross 3D and some other shit, and I'm like, this is good and all. You know, I really like playing 3DS games, and I really like the console. I've, you know, I'll big up this fucking console till I drop dead. Um, but this is such a tiny screen. You know, it's, it's good for walking around with in your pocket or whatever, but it's such a tiny screen. And so I was like, well, this, I cracked this with ease. And, you know, the story goes that you can crack this even using your Nintendo ID and you won't get banned. And the worst case scenario is you get banned off the eShop, which is going to get, the pin's going to get pulled on it anyway. And I thought, well, golly gee willikers there, Jeremy. Bye, howdy. You've got your prize possession of the... Pink 3DS XL. Why don't you crack that? I says to myself. I says. And so, last weekend, or I can't remember, I think it was last weekend, I commenced to cracking my 3DS XL. And lo and behold, I'm now a game historian because I have access to the entire uh, gamut of 3DS titles 
from launch titles to fucking the last releases. Now, granted, there are a few games, like 10 games or 12 games, that will only play on the new 3DS. Well, golly gee willikers, again, I have one of them, too. So I got two consoles, 3DS consoles, and they're both cracked. So Jeremy never has to spend penny one on 3DS shit ever again. And I'm a happy camper. And I know, you know, I'm, there'll be people saying, Actually, Jeremy, piracy is wrong. And uh, I think that you should be ashamed of yourself because uh, actually, you know, you're making it worse on all of us. Huh? Aw. Oh. So, I'm a happy camper. After I play the game that I'm playing now, which I'm going to show you, I'm going to play uh, some uh, Super Mario RPG games that I never played on any of those. I'm going to play my 3DS. Guys, I'm a fucking pro gamer. So I've moved on. I'm still on the old Nintendo. Now, this, uh, this game... I've been wanting to play this for a while, and I, I just figured, fuck it. I'm going to go into it. Uh, you know, I love the first one. I will big up the first one forever. Uh, one of my favorite games of all time. So now I'm playing fucking Xenoblade 2. Uh, it's a physical copy, actually. I have the cartridge uh, because the download code. Uh, fuck off. And this game is really fun. The grind is real. I'm probably 12 hours into it. I'm level 26 or something like that. So I'm going to fucking hammer through this. Xenoblade 3 is coming out in a couple months. I'm not going to go from this to that, but uh, I want to be able to have finished this without having the other one on my shelf. So Xenoblade fucking 2, uh, you know, this is going to be my life for the next month, I guess. I'm looking forward to playing this. All the characters are great. The writing is great. Again, the fucking... Now this game... It chops a bit on the old Switch. I don't know, man. They made a game where it's like, well, she can barely play on the hardware, but uh, make her anyway. You know, by the time the next Switch comes out and they remaster this, uh, then it'll play probably really, uh, you know, smooth as uh, fucking snot. But, I mean, she's a little choppy here and there. And, uh, you know, 1080p on my 4K TV, kind of a waste, but, I mean, fuck it. You know what I mean? So I'm, play I'm hammering this down the old wazoo right now. So, yeah, that's her. That's her. So I I'm a game historian. I have a job. Uh, I'm playing Xenoblade. And life is really good. I can't complain. You know, oh, I mean, I could complain, you know, like, uh, what, I don't know what I would complain about. I'm old, and sometimes my feet hurt after walking for 15 miles, but, uh, you know, I got myself into a pretty good position, I have to say. And, uh, I'm a happy camper. So, uh, anyway, guys, it's been a pleasure, uh, you know, uh, if something else comes up, uh, I'll uh, I'll be sure to inform you. Uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe, <laughs> and hit that bell to be reminded of any future uploads. Also, follow my Instagram and uh, join me on the official Grub Gun Facebook page, uh, or not. Uh, and you know, to be honest, I don't give a fuck what you do. But. Uh, you know, I appreciate the five people that are going to watch this. And remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Keep your stick on the ice. Grub Gun, signing out. Wait, it's still going.